Hey, what's going on, party people? This is your man Griff here. I'm just doing a quick video. I want to talk to y'all about split signings, okay? And I think this is real important for new notaries about split signings. When you're doing a split signing, it is you, one person or one notary, working with a, with two people to get the document signed. So they're working with Earl Jones in a different location than where you're at. Could be a different part of the city, could be a different part of the state, doesn't matter. But they're working with Earl. He gets his doc, the doc, <clears throat> get the documents, take it to him. Earl Jones and Geneva Jones got to sign these documents. Earl Jones signs his, then Geneva do hers later. <clears throat> when you're the first notary, you get the documents, you have him sign it. Now, in the notarial acknowledgement area, Sometimes it'll say before me on this blank date, Earl Jones and Geneva Jones appeared before me. If they have both their names in there, just line out hers and initial. <clears throat> some people say, some companies will tell you don't initial. Some will say it's okay to initial. The best thing to do is just double check with them whether or not they want you to initial. But typically you initial, okay? So you just line her name out of the acknowledgement. The problem comes sometimes people will do a strike through Geneva's signature line. If she needs to do her, if she needs to sign it and you're putting a mark through that to, to prevent her from signing it, that defeats the whole purpose. Another thing is, and I should have got this before. Uh, da, 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 da. You go back to my trusty folder. All right. So, <clears throat> got it. So, you don't want that to happen. Don't strike through her name at all. So, he signs. You line her out. If on the acknowledgement area, <clears throat> they just have a blank line, and it says, on this date, appeared before me, so, you know, appeared before me, this person, you know, or or was signed aforementioned by, then you just put his name in there. You don't put his name and her name and then line through her name, line her name out. You just put his name in there if it's a blank area. So you take the documents. The second order gets the documents. What that person is supposed to do is adding a, a, what they call an all-purpose acknowledgement. Okay. So I have some already pre-printed up with my name here. And I put Virginia. The county, the date, who appeared before me, either I personally know them or I don't, and it had this statement. Then you got the um, signature, then my stamp goes over here. The important part to me is this here, where it says description of attached document, the title, the page, and the date of the document. And then you don't necessarily have to fill this out down here where it says others that named above. But these three here, what that does is it puts the document, this all-purpose acknowledgement is for that document, whether it's the, the deed, um, an affidavit, uh, whatever type of affidavit, signature affidavit, owner affidavit, so forth and so on. And you put those on there. And I keep about 20 of these. As you see, I keep plenty of these in my little folder here of acknowledgements so that way if something comes up, I can do it on the fly. Also, if that's it's good to have for your general notary work too. So you stand in there at the line at FedEx, and somebody says, "Hey, I need this document notarized," but there's no area even for you to put your stamp on it. You can pull this out, boom, you know. Um, or it might not be a document that has an even an acknowledgement area on it at all. They're just saying, "Hey, this needs to be um, notarized." The person don't know that you know anything. They just say it needs to be notarized. <clears throat> so you have your all-purpose acknowledgement form with you and you can do that so i keep 20 sometimes 30 of these in my bag at all times now when it comes to split signings the way you're going to be a superstar and shine and be successful and this is the secret sauce you do this i promise you you will be successful with notary Okay, and especially when it comes to split signings. The secret sauce is this. You as the first notary who are doing the signing, 
you have to ship the documents out on time. That's the secret sauce. If you do not ship them out on time, what will end up happening is the documents will get to the second notary late and it will delay the whole process. As I shared with y'all in videos a couple of weeks ago, when I first started doing this, I had a split signing. It got delayed. Why? Because the notary shipped the documents, but they shipped them to the wrong place. They shipped them back to the title company instead of to me. And the person told me to say, yeah, the notary, I told the notary to ship them to you. And they said they would. And it didn't happen. And in this case today of this video that I'm doing on the 5th, there was a video, there was there's a signing that I'm supposed to be doing. And I don't have the documents. I'm And it's going on one o'clock. It's 12.52 at the time of this video on a Saturday, December the 5th. At 2 o'clock, I'm supposed to be at somebody's house doing a, a signing with them. The documents were supposed to be shipped to me. Come to find out, they didn't get shipped out till Thursday. I mean, didn't get shipped out on Thursday like they were supposed to have. They got shipped out yesterday on Friday, which means if it's overnight, it's coming to you the next day. All they know right now is the documents are out for delivery. Then I'm hearing that the documents are going to the customer rather than to me. So whenever he gets them, then we have to get over there and get the document signed. None of this should have happened. And this kind of stuff can hurt, does hurt us as notaries when you have people not paying attention to detail. No matter how good you are at stamping, signing, checking names, double checking dates, dot 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 if you can't get the document shipped out on time that messes up the whole process so if they needed these documents back by monday and they don't and the last fedex drop the last time for fedex overnight to get to wherever it needs to get on monday is 3 30 today so i'm meeting this guy at two o'clock i can get done with him in probably 45 minutes it gives me 45 minutes to get to the fedex and drop it off but guess what if he doesn't get the documents till two thirty, quarter to three, there's no way I'm going to get I'm going to be able to get done and shipped and get them things shipped out in time to get to the title company or wherever to the law firm. It's actually going to a law firm by Monday, which means they're not getting them till Tuesday. It slows everything up. So that's why I said it's very important, even with you as a second notary in this whole thing, you have to take the time out. And get the documents done correctly. I mean, um, ship them out on time. You ship them out on time, everything else will be fine. But if you don't ship them out on time, I'm telling you, it messes the whole thing up. Why they don't get shipped out on time? Either sometimes notaries can just have the attitude of, hey, I got, you know, um, All right, cool. I'm just checking to see if they got <laughs> the things. They still haven't gotten them. So sometimes some notaries are like, look, I get, I did my part. I got paid when the documents get there, whenever, whenever. That's not the right attitude to have. Sometimes it's, I'm so busy. I forgot all about delivering them. I forgot. I forgot. I threw them in the trunk of my car. And I've heard stories about they throwing them in the trunk of their car and all of that. Can't be doing that. Find a way. I don't care if you got to get your crazy Uncle Earl, throw, a, throw, give him the stickers and stick him out on the street corner and have him walking around all crazy acting with a foot with a with a sticky note on his forehead saying, "Take me to FedEx to drop these documents off." You got to find a way to get them things shipped out on time. And out of and I've done almost eight hundred of these, and I have not gotten the documents shipped out late, not one single time, not one time. If they told me they needed them the next day, they got there. I'm serious. And that has to happen. And it can slow the whole process up. So if you're doing a split signing, to do it correctly, cross out the person's name that's not there, initial, then ship the documents out on time to the next location. That is critical. If you can do that, Everything else will fall in line. I promise you. And you'll be a superstar to that title company. 
you will. You will be a superstar. And then if you get into documents late as a second notary to even to be a superstar to the title company, don't freak out. Don't panic. Don't be giving them a whole bunch of little. I thought, you know, I had this. Well, y'all gonna have to pay me extra and all that. Cut all that crap out. Okay. Just take the documents, get them done and ship back. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to throw up in anybody's face. Well, you know, I mean, I did my part. That they know you did your part because they're not fussing at you for not doing your part. Okay. That's all it is to it. It's a simple thing doing split signings. All right. So thank y'all again for watching the videos, for all your comments. I do appreciate it. Um, very encouraging to hear some of the testimonies and the comments that people are saying, how the information is helping them out. And I do appreciate it. Again, I'm just trying to help people to understand the real deal about being a notary, things that aren't necessarily talked about freely um, out here. You know, um, I haven't seen all notary channels, but from my understanding, a lot of this information is not shared. Um, people know these things happen, but everybody's all hyped up on the fact that they can make, you know, $150 for 30 minutes worth of work. But there's some effort that has to be done and you have to do this stuff correctly because if you're not a person who's willing to do it right, you won't be making any money at all. It's that simple. So if you want to make money, learn to do stuff right and the money will come. All right, y'all. Peace.